हेलो माय यंग फ्रेंड्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल इस वीडियो में स्टडी विद सुधीर की तरफ से काउंसिल को एक रिक्वेस्ट की जाती है दिस इज अ रिक्वेस्ट व्हिच आई एम मेकिंग ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ सो मेनी स्टूडेंट्स टू द आईसीएसई काउंसिल दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट द डायलेमा व्हेदर यू शुड अप्लाई फॉर द रीचेकिंग ऑफ योर मार्क्स आफ्टर द रिजल्ट्स फॉर आईसीएसई एंड आईएससी वर अनाउंस्ड यू एक्सपेक्टेड 39 ऑन 40 एंड यू एक्सपेक्टेड 38 ऑन 40 but you ended up with something like 34 on 40 or 35 on 40 so whether you should apply for recheck so many students have been writing to me over various forms of social media now you need to understand uh, the procedure this was the uh, notice circular which was put out on the website it says very clearly that the council has made provision for the candidates to apply for recheck directly through the website uh, and the fee that will be charged will be 1000 rupees for both icsc as well as isc uh, alternately you can also do that uh, through the head of the school so uh, that is the procedure on paper right but uh, what actually is happening because as per the recheck rules which have been invoked for many years what they do is to basically check the addition of the marks whether the totaling has been correct or not and whether the total has been reflected on the final page the front page of the question paper come answer booklet and whether it has been finally transferred to the online portal and also whether no answer has been left unchecked okay these are the four things that they check as per this recheck uh, procedure of the icsc council now many of the isc class 12 students in particular have been writing to me and i think they have a valid point because in say when you are seeking admission to say something like delhi university every mark matters whether you will get admission to a st stephens hindu hansraj college in delhi university or whether you will get admission in the second rank colleges everything will depend on that one two marks because the competition is so very tight so i think it's the job and the responsibility of the council to ensure that the marks are absolutely fair on the basis of what the student actually wrote in the examination in the semester 1 examination so my point is that uh, when you are charging 1000 rupees which is not really a small amount just for checking the addition of marks you might as well see whether compare it with the answer key so if the answer key for question number 9 says option number c is correct whether in case if the student has Uh, written d i mean whether he or she has been given marks or if the answer is c and he has written c whether he has not been given marks in that case in that uh, case he would be getting he or she would be getting an extra mark samjhe so uh, those are the things which the council in my opinion should actually also incorporate this year because pehle ki baat alag thi jab subjective paper tha tab baat alag thi इस बारी एमसीक्यू पेपर है तो हर पेपर को चेक करने में 10 से 15 मिनट से ज्यादा का वक्त लगना नहीं चाहिए एक और बात जो मेरी एक हमारी एक कलीग ने मेरे को बताई कि एडिशन के मामले में गड़बड़ होने के चांसेस कम है वो इसलिए बिकॉज आफ्टर इन आफ्टर एवरी पेज ऑल्सो दे आर एक्सपेक्टेड द पर्सन हु इज चेकिंग द पेपर दे आर एक्सपेक्टेड टू राइट दी नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स विच द स्टूडेंट हैज got on that one page right so then it is carried forward so in that sense you are also totaling on an individual page by page basis so in that sense the chances of them going wrong just on addition uh, on the basis of addition are highly uh, you know the chances are pretty low so uh, my uh, request to the council on behalf of so many students who have been writing emails to me writing it on youtube comments sending me instagram dm that this is really the chance for the council to show that it is indeed a students friendly board because that's what always is spoken about the cisc allows the person who is going to recheck the papers to look at the answer key match it with the answers given and see whether any kind of inaccuracy has been made because ho sakta hai ho sakta hai that you know jaldbazi mein because all the papers were checked soon after the exams got over right So, हो सकता है किसी ना किसी स्टूडेंट के केस में कहीं ना कहीं का शायद कुछ गड़बड़ी हो गई हो एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ विच द स्टूडेंट एंड अप लूजिंग वन मार्क टू मार्क्स थ्री मार्क्स स्टूडेंट्स और पेरेंट्स को मेरी सलाह यह रहेगी 
but the decision is finally going to be yours, right? You can consult your headmistress, headmaster, principal of the school. But my advice to you would be, if the difference is of one mark, there are students who have written to me saying that I expected 40 on 40 in history civics, but I got 39 on 40, right? Uh, in that case, I am not too sure whether you would want to spend that 1000 rupees. However, if the difference between your marks and the expected marks which you expected is at least 4 marks or 5 marks or 6 marks or perhaps more, in that case, you should definitely go for a recheck. Like for instance, one of our students who, who expected a particular set, uh, set of marks in chemistry has got 10 marks less than they expected because that's the marks she kind of tallied as per the answer key which was released soon after the examination, right? On the basis of the correct answers, right? But she's got 10 marks less, in which case she should definitely apply for a recheck. So think about it. Think about what your circumstances. Don't do it just because five other of your good friends are doing it. No, depending on your marks and what the marks that you expected, you take the decision whether you want to apply for the recheck, right? But as far as the council is concerned, I still believe that they should kind of allow this kind of a leniency this year because it was an MCQ based paper entirely and check it, tally it with the answer key so that all the students get a fair kind of a decision at the end of the rechecking process. Thank you very much for watching this video.